100 Oshkosh Defense Striker MCWS 30mm medium caliber weapon systems in service with U.S. Army. During the Association of the United States Army AUSA 2024 annual meeting, American company Oshkosh Defense displayed its cutting-edge 30mm medium caliber weapon system MCWS integrated on the Stryker Double V Hull Infantry Carrier Vehicle ICV. This next-generation lethality upgrade significantly enhances the combat effectiveness of U.S. Army Stryker Brigade Combat Team's SBCTs, offering greater firepower, increased accuracy, and extended engagement ranges, crucial for modern warfare environments. The 30mm MCWS, developed by Oshkosh Defense, represents a significant leap in combat capabilities for the U.S. Army's Striker platform. The primary armament of the system is the XM813 30mm chain gun, a powerful, automatic cannon capable of engaging a wide range of threats. The XM813 provides both single-shot and automatic firing modes, with a rate of fire of up to 200 rounds per minute. The cannon is highly versatile, designed to fire a variety of 30mm munitions, including armor-piercing rounds, high-explosive incendiary hay shells, and programmable air-burst munitions. This gives SBCTs the ability to effectively engage enemy infantry, light armor, fortifications, and even aerial threats such as drones and helicopters. In addition to the XM813, the MCWS also integrates a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, providing supplemental firepower for engaging soft targets and infantry at close to medium ranges. The 7.62mm machine gun can be used independently of the 30mm cannon, allowing the crew to switch between weapons based on the nature of the target, which conserves ammunition for the primary weapon. The Stryker Double V Hull DVH is an upgraded version of the Stryker M1126 Infantry Carrier Vehicle ICV, designed to enhance crew survivability and vehicle resilience against improvised explosive devices IEDs and mines. The primary improvement in the DVH design is the double V-shaped hull, which helps to deflect blasts from underneath the vehicle, reducing the impact of explosions on the crew compartment. This hull design, along with enhanced armor and suspension upgrades, significantly increases the vehicle's protection against explosive threats, while maintaining the striker's mobility and versatility in combat. The DVH variant is part of ongoing efforts to improve the survivability and effectiveness of armored vehicles in modern conflict zones. At AUSA 2024, Oshkosh presented other armament integration on the MCWS turret such as Javelin anti-tank guided missile ATGM launcher. The Javelin missile system provides a highly effective solution for engaging and neutralizing heavily armored vehicles, including main battle tanks, from longer ranges. The combination of the 30mm cannon and the Javelin missile launcher transforms the Stryker vehicle into a multi-role platform capable of engaging diverse battlefield threats. In terms of targeting and fire control, the Oshkosh MCWS is equipped with an advanced fire control system that includes integrated day-night optics, thermal imaging, and a laser rangefinder. This ensures precise targeting and tracking in various environmental conditions and enhances the system's accuracy over extended engagement ranges. The fire control system is linked to a stabilization system that allows the striker vehicle to engage targets while on the move, further improving combat effectiveness in dynamic battlefield situations. A crucial milestone in the development and fielding of the Oshkosh MCWS occurred in May 2024, when the system completed follow-on operational test and evaluation FOTNE. The rigorous testing phase allowed soldiers to evaluate the weapon system in real-world, operational conditions, ensuring its reliability and effectiveness on the battlefield. FOTNE is a vital step in the acquisition process, providing direct feedback from soldiers and verifying that the system meets the Army's stringent operational requirements. 
Soldiers' assessments during FOTNE highlighted the MCWSS increased lethality, accuracy, and ease of use, reinforcing the system's readiness for deployment. This comprehensive testing has paved the way for the system's integration into active SBCT units. To date, Oshkosh Defense has delivered over 100 units.